but you know that's why they're doing the investigation and we'll see what the end result of that is um, I know what a relationship I've had with with mr. Richardson personally um, has been nothing but a, a really strong and positive one um, and, I, and I would imagine a lot of other guys could say that but as far as the how far I, I, you know it's hard to really speculate on, on where we're at um, any, anything more than that. What was the conversation like? I know you guys obviously kind of had somewhat of an informal q and I think, last night with the team meeting. Like, what, what was that conversation yeah, I, I think the biggest thing was just to give guys a little bit of a heads up that, that there was, you know, we didn't know, you know, again, none of us really know what, but there could be something coming down the road and just so guys didn't wake up on game day and kind of be blindsided. So I don't know when the story came out. I'm assuming it has. Okay, so kickoff. That makes sense. Um, so yeah, I, it's hard to really make that and, much. And, and I, it's a long, you know, kind of uh, detailed story. But in a nutshell, there are four instances, allegations of uh, former employees getting paid off. Three of which because of sexually suggestive <coughs> language from Jerry, and then a scout. Uh, African American at Scout had a racial slur directed toward him. Okay. Have you ever witnessed any of that kind of behavior from Jared? You know, I'm not going to stand here and, and speak on behalf of, of everyone and, and every individual. I, again, I, I, I know about the relationship I've had personally and the interactions I've had personally. And, it, and I'm sorry. And, they, and all of those have been nothing but, like I said, nothing but positive and, and been nothing but professional and respectful. Um, and so no, I just feel no like that's instances of what I just. As far as my interactions with Jerry and, and Mr. Richardson since I've gotten here, he's been nothing but great to my family. That's been very well chronicled, um, both on and off the field. So I, I just don't want to get in the business of speculating on other people's stories. Um, that's not really my place. Hey, y'all were given some just last night, just some sort of round about. Yeah, we, we were given no, we weren't given any real detail, and we didn't know what was coming out. We just knew, obviously, there was a reason the release was made on Friday. We all saw that. And as far as um, as far as the ins and outs of what was going to come from that, we, you know, that was never really discussed because we didn't really, nobody in the room really knew. Um, Hi. Um, so I understand, Michael, what you're saying, like, didn't go into a whole bunch of detail and talk to Clinton last night who was saying that they were aware at least that it had to do with racial surge and sexual harassment without you know, going into, so you guys had at least some... We had, an, we had a general idea of, of what the, the story was going to be. Uh, we, we, didn't, we were not given any details. We were not giving any alleged examples. We, we, and it didn't get that deep. I think Coach did a nice job just giving everybody a, a briefing, a kind of a heads up, like, hey, tomorrow something could or could not be coming down the pipeline. I just think sometimes, especially on game day, especially when there's a lot of unknown, just to have guys understand that it was coming and not just wake up to a flurry of information and try to process it. I think that was the biggest point of the discussion. You, you blocked it out today, obviously. How do you continue to block it out as the season goes on? You know, we, we have a lot of very high character guys in this locker room. We have a lot of guys who understand what our role is here and, and where we kind of fit into this organization and what our what you know what we're here to do. And, and that's play football and, and, and represent this team as, as well as we can on and off the field. And, um, and give our fans something to be proud of. And as far as as far as far everything else that goes on, that kind of falls outside of the scope of, of a being a player. And uh, obviously in the last couple of days, steps have been made to address it or look into it or whatever. And um, we'll, let the, we'll let those people handle what they were hired to do. And as far as we're concerned, we, we have to continue to move forward as players. Um, we, we, have, we take a lot of pride in what our job is here. And uh, you know, we got two huge games coming up, and, and the reality is that's that's where our focus needs to be. Our, our focus elsewhere is not very productive. As far as on the field, did it kind 